secret passion, secret passion. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> if you're watching this first time, uh, my name is Sylvia Popovich. I'm a mindset and a business strategist. I am TV host of the Boss Talk Show, a uh, show where we interview successful entrepreneurs on their story. And um, thank you, you know, before I continue, thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this video. So, Basically, I want to tell you a secret because this is something that not so many people know. Um, I love what I do at this moment in my life. I'm doing this for years. I help leaders to overcome their fears so they can penetrate new market with their services and their product. I love to see them grow. I love to see them going on the stages. You know, this is where my heart sings. This is where I see them having that mindset breakthroughs and then they implement the strategies in their business and they're like bam they're skyrocketing i love when my clients popping up on facebook saying thank you my coach and i'm like yeah thank you god <laughs> so anyway today i want to share something with you uh and i want to remind you the reason why i want to share this story with you it's um to remind you on your joy and your secret vision your secret dreams I work so hard, I'm still working so hard for my company, uh, also working in a real estate business as well. And anyone who is entrepreneur, you know how hard it is to be consistent, to get, you know, to pick yourself up after you had disappointments, after the deal didn't went through, or anything, you know, like million things that can happen. But today it's about my secret dream. As I was a child, uh, one of the first thing that I did, I would take up, you know, this um, microphone that my dad had and I was singing, you know, I was acting, I was always imitating people. And many people in the family say like, you know what, you're born to be on camera, you're born to be on a movie, like on a film. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. At some point in my life, um, as I was working as a teacher, I'm coming from an educational background. I got myself in a very, very bad financial situation and my ego was big then. I was too proud to ask my parents or my friends for any help. And I was basically sitting on a kitchen floor and I didn't have nothing to eat in my house. I didn't have any money, absolutely nothing, like broke, broke, broke and emotionally broken. I opened the shelf in the kitchen and the only thing that I had there uh, was olive oil. And I will never forget this. It was a weekend, Friday afternoon. I was drinking that olive oil and I was thinking to myself, God, why did you put me in this place? I was hungry and just, you know, drinking that olive oil because I was starving and not having money even to buy a piece of bread. Too proud to pick up the phone and tell my friends, you know what, I need help. I'm not good. I messed up. So as I was sitting on that floor with that <laughs> bottle of olive oil, I remember that I asked for help and I said, you know, I'm a believer. I said, Jesus, help me, you know, help me, show me what is the way. And in that moment of darkness, I said, you know what, there must be money in my house. So I took all my purses, I took all my clothes and guess what? <laughs> I found 20 bucks. If, you, if you're watching this from USA, it's like $20 in Europe, it would be like 20 euros something, but it was not a lot of money. So I was watching this money and I said, okay, now I have something, what is the first thing that I'm going to do? So logically, because that day was the day where I only ate olive oil, I know that many of you would probably just go and buy some groceries, right? But I didn't do that. I was so grateful and I was so responsible for these 20 bucks that I said, you know what, let me just see what is that I'm good at, what is that I'm really good at, and can I do something with that? So I sit down and I start calling all the people like in my head, like who said what about myself? They say, wow, you're a great teacher, wow, you're a great, great leader, wow, that was a great show, that was, and, and at one point... I find out that my whole life I was getting, you know, in the school, in a, in a, I was invited to MC events. I was invited to be an actress in many, many roles. And I said, wow, wait a second. Maybe I can use this 20 bucks to go and to apply 
and for some role in a movie or anything and I could get even more money. Guess what? In the next 10 minutes, I was Googling like casting agency. First time doing this in my life. I don't know anything. I don't have a portfolio. I don't know what to do. I'm just like Googling. And I find the agency that was open just one hour, you know, just one hour and then they're closed. And I'm like, I'm taking the last money. I'm running on a tram. I'm coming there. And the lady who was, you know, interviewing me, she was so nervous fighting with a, with a guy in front, you know, who was before me. And I just came there, I sat down, and, you know, she was still, like, swearing, and, um, I, I asked her, how are you? And she looked at me, and she said, you know, I'm not good. My daughter is sick, and I'm here, and I cannot pick her up. So we started a conversation, and I said, guess what, you know, I'm a teacher, I know how this is painful, but she's going to be good, you know, the teacher's going to take care of her. So I kind of gave her love, and I put her on the first place. She took a photos, and she said, you know, wow, you're beautiful, Did you, were you ever on television? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> he said, she said, you need to run on that television, it was RTL in, um, in Croatia, and I was like, really? I mean, I'm scared, what should I do? She said, run there. And I came there, and like, the, the studio and everything, and they said, okay, you're forecasting, and I'm like, yes, I am, so they said to me, okay, now you're a mom, you need to put yourself in a position, like, you lost everything, so I'm, rec like, on the spot, I'm putting myself in that position, and I'm, like, crying, tears are falling down, because I really was thinking, like, how would a mom feel that she lost everything, her child, her whole life, she's alone, and the lady who was recording and filming me, she said, wow, I can tell that you have a lot of acting experience. And I'm like, uh, kind of, <laughs> you know? So basically, to make the lo this long story short, um, in the next days, I got an offer to be a main actress on a national television. After that, I got a commercial from Croatia for a huge, huge political campaign. I, I was not never in politics, but they gave me that role. And I end up all together when the money came from the moment when I was eating olive oil on the floor in the next two weeks, I was, I had a, a monthly and a half salary, monthly and a half salary that I was earning as a teacher from a acting. So guess what? Today I decided to speak out, to tell you that dream. I love what I do. I love my businesses. I love my TV show. I love all my business partners. But you know what? There is a, still a dream that I want to fulfill. I still want to go to that big screen. I still want to, I still want to live those lives. I, I want to, I want to, I want to breathe in lives in all those scenarios that are written, that are waiting for me. So if you are watching this and you're a film producer or someone, I know that this is a perfect timing for you and you're like, yes. I want her. <laughs> so anyway, a little joke on the side. I want to remind you today, no matter where you are, no matter what you achieve in life, never forget your secret dreams. Never think that you're too old, that you're too big, too small, that you're at nothing. Nothing matters when your hearts want something. So just being vulnerable here today, sharing my secret dreams to show you a big gratitude for all support that you are giving me on social media. The more vulnerable we are, the more vulnerable we are, the more open we are, the more honest we are, the more people can be reminded on their dreams. So don't give up from your dream. Share that secret dream and put it in the comment. What is it you always wanted to do, but you never... You never wanted to share that with someone. Come on, give me some support here. I want to hear that. I wish you a beautiful day and God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>